Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher. Fur is down there. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Scarlet Sword HD. Without further ado, let's get into it. So if you remember last time we got the tablet from the forest temple and in this episode we have to return the tablet to the tower in the sky. So we're up here talking to Gully and Hey look up there, it's Beetle's airship. It's here. He sells bug nuts there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging down from the shop if you ring <laughs> if you ring <laughs> and I hear if you ring it Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. But the bell is up off the ground, you gotta launch something, yeah, so you can shoot your beetle, you can um, shoot it with uh, your slingshot, but we can buy stuff from the dull with the D. Uh, and we will go ahead and do that. We can find him. But he will let down his ladder wherever the bell hits. So this probably isn't the best idea. Unless I can somehow get it. Link, just stand on that ball thing. What a way to do that. <laughs> you can also climb up this thing. There's more we can do with this later. In fact, I think one thing we can do for, with it. I believe there's something up here that someone wants. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually later in the game. You'll notice um, the beetle, it only has these pinchers. But later, we can get something where the beetle can actually pick stuff up. So it works as kind of like a boomerang that you can guide. Pretty cool. So that's going to be a side quest later. You notice the little baby toy up there in the nest. Oh! oh, you've come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want. Please, take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Well, I don't know, man. I came here with 92 rupees. Wasn't really thinking. Actually, what's this? Oh! That's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. Even you must be able to see just how useful this item is. And all for only 100 rupees. Want to buy it? Oh, I do, but I can't. Oh. oh, please, take a look at the other things I have for sale. Oh, oh please, wait a moment. Hey. You know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything? Off with you. <laughs> He's like, you're not leaving, I'm dropping you. That's funny. But, if we can get ourselves another 8 rupees, we can go ahead and get a bigger wallet. So let's go and find... Good. Alright, Beetle, we'll buy something this time.
Where is he? Let me at him. Why I oughta? Thank you ever so much. You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. Good. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to take this break to show you something cool. I went and got some... Well, I didn't go and get anything, but I ordered um, these things from Amazon because I already had one. My little sister... Um, one of them bought me this uh, when she came and visited me and so now I have this and you guys have seen it before but I went ahead and thought I'd like build on to a collection and put them all on like a shelf and I might do that not here uh, I got a new place so I'll probably do it there uh, but I want to show you guys the rest of them so I we have Toon Link We have Toon Zelda from the Wind Waker. I uh, wish that we had um, Tetra, you know, before she turns into Zelda. But still pretty cool, you know, they've like done her dress and all that jazz. Got the man Tingle. Oh. Got his little clock and we have Link from Breath of the Wild he's got his Pika slate and sword and steel on there and finally we have Lockablin give Link something to fight but just thought I'd show you guys those. And we'll add more to them. But. So. We. Need to go and. Bring this tablet. To the big goddess statue, which is where. Haven't been in Skyloft for a while. There we go.
Master, I have confirmed the location of the second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access the new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as possible to complete necessary preparation. Alright, so I'm gonna go do my necessary preparations. You guys should too. Grab something to eat or whatever. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we are back. So, we are going to. It was above the green, right? Yeah, red. There we go. And. <clears throat> Sorry, had to clear my throat. And we are going to be exploring more of uh, Skyloft as well. Uh, always forget the the button for the bird, man. That's not good. <laughs> Get a little boosty boost. A little boosty boost. Heck yeah. Drop me, bud. Oh, yeah. Elden Canyon is pretty cool, guys. Master, this is Elden Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the earth. Nice. Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It's inhabited by a creature known as. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what she said. But, um. Basically, what she's telling us is there's moles. Um. Careful with the flames. Telling us how to put out the flames. It's the same way with, like, every Zelda game. Every Zelda game, wood burns, and um, to put out flames, you just roll or slash your sword. So, let's go. Hey, it's a goddess cube. Yeah. Now we can go get that chest later. <laughs> think guys we go this way or that way let's go this way Come here, ladybug. Dang it. We're gonna need a bug catching net from Beetle at some point. Dude, we can't go this way, there's rocks. I wonder why this area is here and why they're letting us see it. There's gotta be something over there, right? But we can still douse, right? But we're heading this way. I 
see another goddess cube and moles. Hey, hey, hey! You, you mess with our turf and you're gonna. Hey? Whoa, you're done! Yo, lead. I don't think this is one of those red creeps. Yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off us, though. Yo. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge. You show up here, I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, me, lead. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Mr. Too Scared to Dig in the Dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those red guys. Will do. Will. I do. Okay. Girls next door are getting kind of loud. That's all right. What up, man? There's a chest over there. Wish I could jump up vines like that. That'd be dope. Let's go! The heck, I wish I could do a front flip with my sword like that. Uh, it's gonna start getting hot! Real hot! Whoa. Uh oh. No. Well, <laughs> you see what happened. <laughs> Are we still good? I think it's an encoding overload. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, so finally uh, figured that out. Gotta wait until the lava rot this is back up here. having fun back there you can see her uh oh oh yeah 
did all that for a blue rupee. We can heal in here. What up, ma'am? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Never seen you around here before. Whoa, hold it right there. Are you a friend of those red creeps? Red creeps? Yeah, monsters carrying big blades. They're crawling all over the place. Can't believe you haven't run into any of them. But if you don't know them, I guess you're not pals. So what is it then? You here to pick bomb flyers? Um, what? Bomb flyers? You're joking, right? Those are them, growing right over there. You pick one with A, and then the fuse lights. A few seconds later, boom! <clears throat> You'll want to stop and sniff this flower. Dangerous plants, believe me. <laughs> But once you learn to use them, they're a powerful weapon. Us magmas are crazy about them. You can toss and roll them the same way you do jars. See what you can do with those bomb flowers over there. Um, huh, you do know how to roll and throw stuff, right? Uh huh. Of course you do. Alright, check this out, guys. You can roll this bomb flower underneath there and blow that up. Ever wanted to see a ruby up close? There you go. Ooh. Bigger one. With ladybug. And uh, an amber relic. Alright, there's one more thing we have to blow up, right? Well, it felt like a rock. Whoa, buddy! <laughs> he won't swing because he's tired. Didn't realize that happened. All right, well, we got some jelly blobs off of that. Um, but I think that's a good place to leave off. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword HD. I've appreciated you uh, hanging out, and if you enjoyed, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not, if you want to watch the next one, and that will be next week. Bye guys.